Okay, what we got going on here is my coil core generator. One of them's the coil, one of them's the core. I'm not sure which one's which. I'll label them when I rewrap it. Uh, one side's going to a meter and a neon, and the uh, other side's going to the other side of the meter and the other side of the neon when I spin it. Seventy. 75 volts, something like that. Here, I'll cut the light out for a second. Smooth it again. And that's that's lighting up bright. Like I said, everything's just in parallel. Meter, neon, meter, neon. 53 volts it goes out. I want to add the battery into the equation. Get another lead. All right, now that's putting out AC voltage because it ain't rectified or nothing. All right, so my meter's going crazy because you're not seeing <coughs> AC voltage; you're seeing DC. So I'm gonna switch the motor or the the meter to DC, and then you get the correct voltage, which is uh, eighteen point eight eight. And I mean, I could sit here and spin it for a while and show y'all that it'd go to 18.89, but I'm, you know, I'm not going to waste my time or your time. I know right now that with how this battery is, that, uh, you know, it, it'd melt that coil down with how small the wire is. It'd melt these little leads down. I'll do that in a minute before I dissect it. But, uh, I mean, that's just to prove to you. See, my neon's still lighting up. Now I'm going to hook my battery up to it. Now the neon did go out and the eddy current slowed it down. So we still got eddy currents and you know everything works the same. It's just there's no way to put energy into this coal. You can only take energy out. Which leaves a, a lot of other options. Okay, I don't have the battery connected. Neon's lighting up. It's on DC voltage, so you're not going to get no accurate reading with the meter. But it's lighting up that neon. Now I'm going to connect the battery. Eighteen point eight eight, because it's reading the accurate DC voltage now. So what good is that meter? to me right now it's no good but I just wanted to show y'all with the meter AC DC and you know a little something I'm gonna disconnect it now I'm gonna try to keep this tape rolling it might be a 10 minute video but you know I don't want y'all to think that I'm pausing it and redoing coals or something alright so now the meter I didn't mean to throw it I'm gonna have to use it tomorrow is gone lighting up now quit lighting up and the eddy current grabbed but uh it's not burnt nothing up I'll cut the light out and show you I'll just show you this battery is not hooked up this green lead eddy currents I'm going to go ahead and melt my wire down for you. Now, you couldn't do that if that wire wasn't hooked up, you know? 
and I burned it right off while it was running. So I mean that should show y'all something without me having to tear my coal apart, but I'm going to tear it apart anyway. But before I do that, hold on, I want to show you one other thing that was interesting to me, and I thought I'd share it with y'all. Let me get another leaf. Burn up so many leads over the course. I found this was interesting. See the light. If I tap this, even without it spinning, y'all see that? Even without it spinning, just tapping it. So this could be another configuration for the the uh, SEC spatial energy coherer. You know, it could be another application for this because I mean, I can put a I can put the meter back in between here, and it ain't drawing no amps. But I mean, I'm lighting, and I don't know what that means. I ain't a you know, I ain't no nobody, but it's interesting to me. You know, and I'm not burning nothing up here. All I'm doing is grounding out that coal, which should burn this whole setup up. The energy's coming from somewhere to light this up, you know, whether it be back EMF or something. Okay. I'm going to zoom in on that. I don't know if y'all even seen that. Alright, I'm just going to tap it. I wish I could show my fingers at the same time, but it's just impossible when I'm... And like I said, all I'm doing now is grounding out it, or not grounding out, but putting everything together in parallel, tapping it. You know, I'm tapping the the battery and the neon together with that coal in parallel. Okay. So that was something else odd. Show you it's still all hooked up off the, the coal. So I guess now it's That's some little bitty wire, dude. I've never seen. That's smaller than... Here's a stranded piece of wire. I'm holding a stranded piece of wire right beside it. It's about the same size as a stranded piece of wire, but you got to take into consideration that this has got an enamel coating on it. So that's the kind of wire we're dealing with. So, uh... I'm not faking nothing. I'll put this coil back together and it's going to look taped and stuff, but that's because it's going to have to. Here's one side and here's the other. I mean, the inside it almost looks threaded almost. It wasn't. It was a relay for an air conditioner unit. Alright, my problem, why I couldn't do it no more is the, the solder popped off of right here. I'm going to try to put a meter to right here. This one wire is put on to this coal. And just to show you, I mean this wire is like hair thin. I mean, look how thin that wire is. Okay, here it is. Here's the coal. I've already tore it up. Tore the leads up. Again, it's going to be a pain in the ass to fix it. But, uh, this wire, but dude, I've never seen no wire this thin. 
Trying to break a little piece off for you. Let's see what's gonna beat all hills. I'm gonna have to track down the end of it. Which I can see it, but I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to. in my finger see that shit that's some small wire I ain't got the end of it